Hello everyone, how you all doing? I'm done with a bit of a cold. No, it's not COVID-19. And I feel much better now. On with the show. In most recent interview for Ars Technica, Elon Musk became a bit more realistic what needs to be done before first Martian colony can be realized. Spending almost every single day at Boca Chica's side, where SpaceX is building Starship SN2 and about to start work on Starship SN3. Elon Musk gave a frantic insight into his thinking. Fearful he might not be able to complete his life mission of Mars colonization. He was very frank when talking to Eric Berger of Ars Technica. Why is Elon Musk so worried and why is he so stressed out? So much so he convened an all-hands meeting last weekend at Boca Chica facility at 1am in the morning, time when everybody is sleeping, playing computer games like me or watching TV till they fall asleep. Elon Musk is stressed out as he fears his mission, which is now primarily to seek colonization of Mars, happen really fast. Problem is, building an entire civilization on a hostile planet far off is really daunting. Have you ever tried playing Surviving Mars or Civilization 6 against really good players online? Musk is really keen to see starships rolling out really fast. The reason for the impromptu meeting at Boca Chica was the fact that Elon Musk was a bit upset about the fact that work at the facility was progressing slow. He only recently held a job fair at the facility where 250 new staff were hired. He wanted to know why the Starship factory wasn't humming at all hours. Why steel sheets weren't getting welded into domes and fuel tanks. Why tanks were not being stuck into rockets. Why things were not going as fast as he wanted. Musk always wants to go fast. He will not live forever. And the money may eventually run dry. He knows this. However, training 250 new staff and engineers takes time. An effect of hire won't be felt for months sometimes. So the progress at the facility isn't as fast, something that frustrates Elon Musk. With around 512 staff at Boca Chica SpaceX facility, soon it will become most important SpaceX facility outside Hawthorne, California, where SpaceX head office is. Elon Musk plans to expand the facility at Boca Chica double the size of the current facility by late May and triple the size of the facility by this year's end. In all, SpaceX could, according to plans I've seen, employ around 1,200 staff on the site, which includes bringing people from outside Texas, mostly from HQ at Hawthorne and some from Florida, to speed up the process of building new starships. Masquill, a popularly called Boca Chica facility, will grow into a small town from where SpaceX is quite likely to launch first manned mission to Mars, also becoming a launch pad for the very first city on Mars. Problem that haunts Elon Musk and therefore SpaceX are small failures, or should be called stuff that puts pressure on SpaceX's tight schedule. SN1 pack failure test was a serious issue for Elon Musk. He already suffers from depression and anxiety, as many of us do, and failure such as this could impact how he relates to things. Having a successful SpaceX Starship SN1 test would have created a smooth workload for SpaceX and kept tight schedule. Pack failure delayed few things, something I really think shouldn't impact SpaceX time as much. Starship SN2 tank pressurization test went really smoothly leaving only pack testing which will require extensive testing over the next few weeks, or even a month. Redesign, or should I say strengthening of the pack, therefore extra weight on the whole Starship is very likely outcome. Thrust pack must survive incredible forces pressed on it, including at least 300 tons of stuff on top of it and 1200 tons of thrust underneath it. The next phase of Elon Musk's vision is a small city on the banks of Rio Grande. The aim is to build a facility that could turn out one starship per week, as of Boca Chica facility alone. SpaceX plans three facilities, one in Los Angeles at Port of Los Angeles, one in Florida at Kennedy Space Center on Roberts Road, and this one at Boca Chica. What SpaceX wants to do is at Boca Chica is similar stuff Elon Musk made at Tesla at Hawthorne. Start a production line with all parts of Starship 
that are made on the same site at Boca Chica, with only Raptor engines being built at Horton in California. Incidentally, where SpaceX is also building a second production line for the Starship. So why does it need so many Starships, you might wonder. This is also the question I like the answer on. The reason for 1000 Starship is that we are going to go and colonize Mars and make a sustainable civilization on the Red Planet. We need to think big and establish a strong foothold on a planet. Going small will only have little or no impact and could easily end up as a failed experiment. If the funding isn't secured, thinking big, Elon Musk can dedicate vast resources of Earth to support burgeoning civilization on Mars, humanity's second home. Once you build first sustainable city on Mars, you prove to everyone else this stuff are possible and many more will pop out on Mars. Also imagine large space colonies Jeff Bezos was talking about. All this becomes a possibility in relatively short space of time. We're talking two generations from now, at most. The problem Elon Musk has, and this is a serious problem, he'll need to deal with way before a first person ever lands on Mars, is how to achieve sustainability on Mars. Getting people to Mars is one thing. Maintaining sustainable population on Mars is a whole new ball game. A simple things like we take for granted here on Earth, like warm clothes, food, water, air we breathe, aren't really available on Mars. For planet is barren, devoid of any surface light, has no discernible resources we can utilize to survive. A survival on the red planet is only possible if we utilize high technology and efficiency. For these, SpaceX will need to develop pretty soon if SpaceX wishes to send first humans to Mars by 2026, or even more likely date of 2028. Let's say SpaceX does indeed develop all the necessary tools and manages to build a massive Martian colony. Let's call it Musk City on Mars, home to 20,000 people. You'll need to constantly resupply these 20,000 people with all the necessities of life. Elon Musk used analogy of vitamin C, but suffice to say, we'll need vitamin C. Otherwise, people will die for lack of it. So logistics getting things to Mars, including things like vitamin C, are constantly playing in Musk's head. And this has to be repeated for every other product we enjoy here on Earth. Well, not every product, but you get the idea. By the way, anyone telling me I'll need eye makeup remover on Mars? Anyhow, Musk tweeted in January that the goal of Starship Transport System to Mars will be to launch each of the SpaceX reusable Starship rockets about three times per day, on average, while carrying 100 ton payload on each flight, with roughly 1,000 flights per year carrying more than 100 tons of cargo on each flight. And that rate, Musk theorizes, each Starship rocket would make roughly 1,000 flights per year, launching a total of 100,000 tons of cargo into orbit. So every 10 ships yield 1 megaton per year to orbit. Musk also tweeted in January, 1,000 Starship could send maybe around 100,000 people per Earth-Mars orbital sink, referring to a period of every 26 months when Earth and Mars orbits are best aligned for interplanetary journey. Bear in mind, if Elon Musk set his mind to something, he will try to achieve it, try his best. So in retrospect, I'm not doubting his vision. His ideas are his prospects for success. In fact, I'm quite certain he'll be quite successful in his endeavor. Problem is, you'll have an uphill struggle to achieve his vision. Thankfully, SpaceX, Internet or Starlink will be well off the ground, generating huge revenue for SpaceX and Musk's vision, which will ultimately ensure success. By the way, would like to hear your opinion guys, do you think Elon Musk is nuts with his plans for 1000 starships? 
and million people on Mars by 2050. In other news, Blue Origin is hard at work. Recently, they unveiled a brand new Spaceport Florida facility, including an impressive Space Age control room that will launch New Glenn rockets from Kennedy Space Center Blue Origin launch facility. And with that, Blue Origin is progressing fast with its first New Glenn rocket assembly. Parts for the future tank and rocket fairing were revealed by Blue Origin. As I'll be making a video on New Glenn rocket, I'll leave this at this. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description.